dawn broke across the island of Sodor, Spencer was back on the tracks. Today, I will find out what Tricky Thomas is up to. Spencer searched high and low for something suspicious. He slinked through sidings, and he puffed closer and closer to Hero's hiding place. Thomas was puffing back with Hero's final part. Suddenly, he heard Spencer whistle long and strong. What's this I've found? No, I mustn't let Spencer find Hero. Rattle my rods. I found Percy's mail cars. These must be part of tricky Thomas's tricks. Thomas rattled after Spencer, whistling loudly. There you are, Thomas. Would you happen to be after these? Ha 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 ha! Look out, Spencer! Oh no, please, not again! Spencer was cut off by James, shunted by Thomas. Well, looky here. It seems we found our thief. Those are Percy's mail cars, aren't they? Spencer, why did you take Percy's mail cars? You have caused confusion and delay. But I didn't take them. I'm not interested in your excuses, Spencer. Find Percy and return the mail cars at once. Checkmate. I won't let Thomas get away with this. Thomas returned to Hero's hideout with the last part. Here are the parts to your safety valve, Hero. Now you'll be able to regulate steam. We must hurry. Spencer will be headed back this way soon. Get to work, men! They had just finished welding the parts into place. I wonder if the fat controller will have seen any pictures of me. I'm sure he must have. He'll be very proud to have you back on the railway. I'm so happy. I have waited a long time. Then there was a loud whistle. It was a whistle they both feared. It's Spencer! He's found us! Help Thomas! Spencer will make sure I am sent to the smelter's yard. No, he won't, hero. You're nearly fixed. You can escape on your own now. Follow me. We can't fire him up yet. The welding hasn't cooled. There's no time. Spencer will catch us and spill the secret before I have a chance to convince the fat controller. We have to go. They made heroes fire. With a pounding puff and a heaving hum, Hero followed Thomas to steam away from Spencer. Hero thundered down the tracks, rattling and clattering. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Well done, Hero! Thank you, Thomas! <laughs> then there was trouble. Spencer snaked onto the tracks behind Thomas. Found you, Thomas! Spencer! Thomas' wheels roared like the wind. You won't get away from me this time! I have to get away! I cannot let this chance go! Hero couldn't help himself. He had to run away from Spencer as fast as he could. Spencer was shocked. Who are you? Hero! Thomas! That engine can't even puff properly! Hero started to make strange noises. The men had to test the safety valve and it was blocked. Steam began to build up inside. Hero couldn't take on more water. Oh, it was getting too hot. The pressure made parts fall off. They clanged and banged onto the tracks. No! Keep puffing, Hero! You can do it! Thomas, help me! But the harder Hero puffed, the worse he wobbled. Come on, Hero! Don't stop! Your parts came loose. Thomas! You can do it, Hero! I don't think he can! Is this what you've been doing, Thomas? Making a heap of scrap for the smelter's yard? 
because that's the only thing that this engine's good for. The fat controller will make sure of that. No, he won't. I won't let that happen. Don't be ridiculous, Thomas. I've seen the trains. Then there was a whistle. I'll race you to Croven's Gate, Slowpoke Spencer. I'll win! Spencer was cross. Oh no you won't, Gordon. I'll win. I'll make sure the Fat Controller knows all about your little experiment, Thomas. Phew. I'm sorry, hero. Let's get you hidden somewhere safe. Everything will be all right. But poor Hero felt worse than ever. A duel, Spencer! If you win, you may tell all you wish. But if I win, you're sworn to silence. On Gresley's honor! So you're in on Thomas's tricks, too. Say it! On Gresley's honor, I'll show you what being a hero is. Go! The two engines went full throttle down the main line. My cylinder is sore, but nothing will stop me when I'm pulling coaches. Gordon shouldn't be keeping up with me. I'm out of puff from the chase already. It's him. How did he survive? Hurry, hurry, hurry! You'll never defeat me. I'm the fastest engine in the world. They moved closer to the home station. Gordon gave it all he had. For Thomas! For Hero! Failure is not an option! Oh! What are these doing here? Gordon edged out in front just as they steamed into the junction. I've done it! I've done it! Then there was trouble. Gordon still in the trap. Spencer! The Duke and Duchess of Boxford stepped off Gordon's train. Fumbling fenders! Duke and Duchess! I trust you had a pleasant journey. Yes, thank you, Sir Topham. It was quite speedy toward the end. Gordon here seems to have taken some damage. Gordon, what have you done to yourself? Having another contest with Spencer? This is most irresponsible. Beg pardon, sir. It was Spencer's insistence that pushed me. Th that's not true. I was merely exposing their... Spencer, you have let us down. I know how you are about racing. Your pernicious behavior has caused Gordon to break down. I sent you ahead to complete the summer house. But thanks to your gallivanting, it's not ready for a holiday. Sir Topham Hatt tells me you've spent all day watching Thomas. And taking mail cars that aren't yours. You were supposed to return them to Percy, and you haven't. Spencer blushed. They have a very old engine. A heap of scrap, in fact. I was chasing it because, in fact, Sir Topham, you should... Spencer, stop. Gordon is no heap of scrap. It's quite clear you're not fit to work. Perhaps you should return to the mainland. <laughs> Please, may I help? I could work with Spencer on the summer house. I'm sure together we could deliver the supplies in time. What about your other jobs, Thomas? I can do them both. I'll work during the evenings on the summer house. Hmm. All right. Thank you, Thomas. That is most kind of you. Please keep an eye on Spencer. He's clearly not feeling well. Spencer was so cross. My mail cars! I'm sorry, Gordon. I hope you're not in too much pain. Don't worry about me, Thomas. Surely I showed Spencer who the fastest engine is. What do I do now? Fixing Hero didn't work. Perhaps it's time to consider asking the Fat Controller, Thomas. We haven't many options left. Thomas went to visit Hero. 
you did everything you could, Thomas. But I know now. I will be sent to the smelter's yard. No! No, you won't, hero. I won't let that happen to you. Don't give up. I have spent years of my life not giving up, Thomas. It gets tiring after so long. I don't think I can keep going. I can't help you or myself. Thomas puffed back to the sheds. He looked weary. Thomas, Gordon's broken down. Please tell us what's happening. <sighs> I have something very important to tell you. As the stars sparkled above Tidmouth, Thomas told the engines about Hero. I don't understand, Thomas. Why didn't you tell us sooner? We could have helped you, but you didn't even let me see Hero. I know, but I was afraid. I wanted Hero to trust me. I wanted to be strong. I wanted to prove that Spencer was wrong about me. So I tried to do everything by myself. Thomas, it isn't weak to rely on others. That's right. We're your friends, aren't we? We're here for you, just like you're here for us. Thank you, everyone. I still need to figure out what to do next. I need to keep Spencer at bay. While I'm busy at the summer house, will you all go and visit Hero? He's very sad, and he needs company. Of course we will, Thomas. You can count on us, Thomas. You can count on me too. Everything will be all right. All the engines whistled. They were a team for Hero.